Okay, I, I think I missed the countdown. Anyway, sorry guys. Okay, um, so today we're going to look at the word problems that are on page 292 and 293 in the textbook. So if you have your textbook close, you should go grab it because then you can follow along. So you can just press pause on the video, go grab it, and then you can follow along. So I started with number five, but I realize now I kind of missed number uh, four. So I'll just read that one to you and we'll kind of talk about how you would do it. So Jason delivered 15 newspapers every Saturday morning. He can deliver three newspapers every minute. How long does it take Jason to deliver all 15 newspapers? So if you take your 15, which is your total amount of newspapers, right? And you divide it by three, that's how many he can do in each minute you will get your answer of how many um, minutes it will take him. So it should be 15 divided by three. So does anybody know the answer to 15 divided by three? Yep, that's right. So it should take him about five minutes. So here we go for number five. It says, Kate, Caitlin gave out stickers as prizes at the school fair. Each game, Caitlin gave one sticker to each child who placed first, second, and third. How long, or sorry, the sticker strip came in 12, strips of 12. How many games were played before the stickers ran out? So you have to know that, remember that when we're dividing, how many we have all together should be your first number. So we have 12 all together. And each time she gave out, did she give out one sticker or did she give out three stickers? So each game she gave out three different stickers because she gave out first, second, and third. So as you can see here, I have wrote up let's put a different color this time. 12 divided by 3 because we have 12 stickers all together and she gave out 3 each time. So how many games then will it take? So there's a couple different ways we can solve 12 divided by 3. We can just know it. We can make three different groups. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And how many I have in each group? I have four. So how many games will it last? Just four, okay? Now you could have done a repeated subtraction as well. Um, you could have gone 12, subtract three, subtract three, subtract three, subtract three. That would give you zero and then count up how many times you subtracted three which should be four. So moving on to number eight, Nathan visited the Athabasca Glacier when he was seven years old. He learned that the glacier melts three meters every year. Nathan returned to see the glacier when he was older. He learned it had melted 15 meters since he first visit. How many years had it been since his first visit? So he, they gave us a little bit of extra information, but we still need it. So what we need to do is start with how big the glacier was when he went. So that's why we have 15 here. Oh, it's 15 meters big when he went when he was seven. So each year it is melting by three meters. Okay. So it had melted 15 meters altogether. So each year, so that's why we're dividing it by three and that will give us five. Okay, so I'm not going to show you that because I know how you guys don't know how to do that. So now it's been five years since he's seen the glacier and the first time he went when he was seven. So how are we going to figure out how many years it's been since his first visit? It has been five, but I'm going to add something to this. And this is why I have the seven here. How old would Nathan be now? So you know it's been five years since he visited and he was seven when he visited, what do you have to do here? You have to add five. So how old would he be now? He should be 12. Okay, so I'm just gonna scroll down the page here for a second. Our next one has quite a few little different parts to it. So we're gonna look at number nine. And if you have your picture, your textbook open, it has a nice little picture there for us. Lila and Leo enjoyed the rides at the Calgary Stampede. They can buy ride tickets in strips of 10, 15, or 20. Lila likes the motorcycle ride. 
Now, if you look in the picture here, it says the motorcycle ride is four tickets each time. How many rides can she have with each strip of tickets? Okay, so that's why I wrote down 10, 15, and 20, because you can buy the tickets in groups of 10 and 15 and then 20. And so what do we have to do? What we have to do is see here. Now, this is the tricky part, especially for these numbers, because if you know your division a little bit, we know that 10 does not divide into four equally. So what, how many times does four go into 10? Four goes into 10 two times, but we have two tickets left over, two extra. I'm just gonna pee at the, that because it's easier, okay? So it's not gonna be a good deal for them to get the 10 tickets because she only gets to go two times and then she has these two tickets she doesn't know what to do with. So what about 15? Who knows, does 15, can you break down 15 equally into four groups? Anybody know? You can. You can break it down into three groups, which would give you five. But you would have one left over. Again, not the best deal. She could go on at five times. Sorry, she can go on at three times but not five. Let's erase that. This bird just made a mistake. So let's erase this. She can go on it three times, but she would have one left over. Okay. Now, if you weren't sure how to do that, we would know that we would need to put them into groups of four. So you could just count them out into groups of four. So what about 20? Does 20, whoops, that should be a division sign. Sorry guys, my thing held. Go into four equally. We were to divide it into groups. So you could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. It does go equally into groups of four, and so you would have five. So really the best bet for them would be to buy the book of 20. Okay. Then they wouldn't have any left over. So let's look if we were to go on the Ferris wheel because Leo likes the Ferris wheel best. And so what is the best deal for them? So if we were to take 10 and divide it by five, because you need each time you go, you have to have five, right? So if we were, that would give us two. So he could go on the Ferris wheel two times if he bought 10 tickets. And if he bought 15 tickets, right, we can skip count just 5, 10, 15. So did you see how I did that? I went 5, 10, 15, three times. Okay, so that's another method you can do. If you're really good at skip counting, especially with your, your fives, because most people can skip count by five pretty easy. So... It is easy to do it that way. So I'll show you when we do a 20 here too. So 20 divided by five equals, oops, that should be an equal sign. So again, I'm just gonna skip count. Five, 10, 15, 20. So I would have four, okay? That's a really bad equal sign. Sorry guys, it should say 20 divided by five equals four. So if they bought tickets, Again, it would be your best bet is to go with something that is divisible by five because that's how many the tickets are in groups of, right? And then you wouldn't have any left over. So those are our word problems today. I left you a worksheet to work on for um, repeated subtraction. If repeated subtraction is not your method, don't do it, okay? If you find it difficult, don't do it. If you'd rather put them into groups, or skip count or whatever you need to do, do it your way. I just want to see that you know how to divide. Okay. Have a great day.